Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor from Johnson County Community College. And we're gonna continue our YouTubes on the modern JavaScript tutorial from javascript.info. And at this point, we are all the way up to 1.3, the developer console in the introduction section. And it's another very short tutorial, but oh so important, because the developer console is the area in the browser it helps you debug JavaScript code. You open the developer console in any browser, I'm in Chrome, by right-clicking a blank spot in the web page and choosing inspect. And here we are in the developer window, and it's got a lot of information going on, but don't let that intimidate you. There's really only two super important areas for you to learn now, and that is the elements tab and the console tab. The Elements tab shows you the HTML elements. You can see those HTML elements here as I scroll up and down. You can click this little arrow, click an element on the web page, and it will be highlighted here in the Elements area so you can read that this is an H1 with a class attribute. Developer Console is in the text area. I can even change it to say something different. I put my name in there and click away and you can modify the HTML if you want in the developer console. In addition to the HTML, in the other panel here, we've got the styles. So I can look down here and see all the styles. I'll click on that H1 again and look at the styles that are being applied to it. I can change the uh, color to, let's go with red just for something easy to see and see how that changes. Or I can remove styles temporarily. The main thing with the elements and the CSS panel is that you can use those panels to modify your code temporarily. I like to use it to debug my CSS. If I keep scrolling down, I see all the styles, all the inherited styles. I even see the box model. So I, can, I know what the sizing is for the content, padding, border, and margin. So it's really an incredibly wonderful tool for debugging your CSS. Of course, this is all temporary though. When I refresh my page, my original web page returns. In JavaScript class, though, we're mainly gonna stay on the console tab. The console tab is your best friend when writing JavaScript on a web page because it's going to show you a couple of very important things. Number one, it shows you if there are any JavaScript errors and it'll tell you the line item. Super helpful in debugging your code. Two, you can log out with the console.log statement values of variables or pieces of information at different points in your program to make sure you're on track. So you can log out information in the console. And three, you can just sit here and write JavaScript statements and see what they do in the console. Add two numbers when you add a string to a number, when you multiply a string with a number and see how JavaScript is going to interpret that information. It's another place where you can just write JavaScript statements and see what happens. Now, of course, you don't wanna to write too many JavaScript statements over here because just like the elements tab, when you are modifying the existing HTML elements, content and styles, as soon as you refresh that page, anything you've written in the console or JavaScript is also removed. So this is just a temporary place for you to see errors, log out information, and try statements, but it can be oh so valuable as we move forward in the JavaScript class. Now, one final thing. This developer console window can open in different places. Sometimes I like to dock it on the bottom of the screen. Sometimes I like to dock it on the right-hand side of the screen. So I use these two different locations just depending upon the size of my web page and what I'm trying to see on the web page while I'm working with my JavaScript. So many of my YouTubes will show you the console on the bottom. Uh, sometimes I'll show you on the right. The main thing is that you know how to flip it to the position that you'd like to see. So elements is for HTML elements and CSS styles. Console is for JavaScript. And then we have many other tabs on the developer tools. This would be like another three credit class to go through all the tools and all the information that is available through the developer console. So there is much more to the developer console than we're gonna cover in this short screencast. But what you need to know now is just how to use the elements tab and how to use the console tab. And I guarantee that console tab is gonna be your best friend for helping you write JavaScript code in the class. Thank you.